I have a story I want to share with y'all. And it's something that is just like really unique to our queer families. And I just, I want y'all to hear it because uh, it's a, it's something that I will never, ever forget. So um, my daughter and I, my 10 year old, we are watching this show right now called Young Sheldon. Many of you probably know of it. Um, it's like age appropriate for her and I find it fun too. So it's a good thing for us to bond with. And like it, it, we were watching an episode recently and at one point the, the mom in the show like gets accidentally pregnant. And the whole episode is about like, what are they going to do? How, what are they, how are they going to manage it? And you know, all this stuff. Um, and, at, <laughs> and at one point Rose turns to me and she goes, oh, what? She's, she's pregnant. How, how, by who? And I look at her and I'm like, mm, by, by the dad in the show. And then it dawned on me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. They have sperm in their house. She didn't have to go buy the sperm because she's like, how do you accidentally get pregnant? That doesn't happen, you know, because it doesn't happen for our families. And that's the story we tell her all the time about how she was created. Um, and then I saw the wheels like turning in her head. And then she, I see the realization of how they did it and how the baby was made. And then she like, and then she was like, oh, Ooh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to talk about this because she knows what that is. Um, <laughs> but it was just such a funny um, moment and just something that is like so unique to our families and our communication and how much our children do actually know. And um, it was just a fun moment. And we both laugh about it now because <laughs> not all families have to buy the sperm or the eggs. <laughs> Oh, I love it. What a great holiday story, huh?